playlist, your favorite entertainment show sponsored by EJ Investments. Today I'll be having a conversation with Flex Fusion. They are a dance crew here in the Gambia and they're making waves when it comes to the dancing scene. Electrator John Queen, the CEO, wants to make sure that dancing is taken seriously and that young people will make a living out of it. Stay with us and enjoy the conversation. It's the playlist. To the playlist, Electra Thank you, and Naba. Thank you, Sammy. so uh, first off, uh, then you're the normal routine. Then yeah, you're going to tell us who Electra is and what Electra do. Uh, Electra is basically um, <coughs> a dancer, media personality, mm -hmm. and I also work for um, a trading company. Okay, yeah. and how about Naba? I am into my own personal thing in ways. So mm -hmm. Yes, that's another arm for you, doing my own thing at the moment. Okay. Um, Electra, tell us about Flex Fusion Entertainment. Flex Fusion Entertainment is basically the umbrella mm -hmm. um, where you have a big diverse dance group and also Flex Fusion Dance Academy on a mm -hmm. It's a dance company and also an agency that is representing all dancers. So we are trying to brand dancers professionally and also give them a platform, train them to become professionals and also a big gigs for them. That's great. So what inspired you into this? Well, if you know Electra, basically, they have a gamma. You know I'm a dancer. From, from, you know, I'm from a family um, that, I'm, actually, my parents, were, my mom was like, why am I just, <laughs> it's fine. Well, I'm too sad, I mean, it's a real mom. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, um, if you know me, um, my father Gabang, born and brought up in Adipo town, you know basically that my mom was into performing arts. Mm -hmm. um, she had a cultural group, she had a, she was at the AI company, okay. and then we started dancing way back, and my sister also used to dance, and we the back in vocalist for Jai Bak, right there. Okay. Likewise, my mom, so it's like a family lineage that I'm continuing, and I'm very much passionate about it, so that's why I was doing this. Who's your sister? Uh, she's called Fanda Baji. Okay, how about your mom? My mom, Fatu Baji. And she's still around? No, my mom is late. Oh, sorry. Yes. You have to rest in peace. I mean, okay, so um, you're going to take us through your career. Um, how is it like um, being a female and also in the dance scene, doing your thing? We know Gambia how it is like, especially when it comes mm -hmm. to dancing, it's not taken seriously. So tell us about this. Well, um, my journey has been tough, like you mentioned, um, living in a community where dance is regarded as a uh, layman thing mm -hmm. and people here don't see it as a career, it's really tough really and challenging. Mm -hmm. And being a female, you know, bigger than a single body, only than a single body, side and has to come in a single But at the end of the day, it's up to you, the individual. So, one, I've been through a lot. Um, being a lady pursuing mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. you know, from the artists to the music label companies mm -hmm. to um, corporate companies to friends, everybody basically. Mm -hmm. I had just a few people that believed in my dreams. I had just a few, few people that supported me throughout. But the majority of the new family were slightly discouraging me, so actually bullied me. Mm -hmm. So, bullied you in what form? But you know, um, when I say I'm doing that, so, mm -hmm. Come so I come to my tema and I yo you not even proud to say I'm your friend. Wow. Okay, we meet some certain people and you sideline me. You know, like okay. you don't even want to get close to me. You don't want people to know me. He need like kill me like that. And okay, because you get you get too chill. You only get like that. Like that. You don't go to the and see people him last time. I wa. Maybe not say hard. At the end of the day, yo, um, you just have to be strong mm -hmm. mentally. Okay. Right? So music is like a career to you. For me, dance is a career. What what is going on right now? The music. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dancing is a career. Now I'm used to having um, artists artist coming here all the time. So for a minute, but I'm not going to at the end of the day, artists anyway. Yeah, because absolutely. as long as you're dancing, um, yeah, you have music or whatever, or anything the floor, it's related to entertainment. Artists, artists. You mean you have the new top interviews that say artists get like more right? So um, dancing is like full time career for you yes okay um take us through your journey 
sad experience you are working with Namian artists because I've seen you in almost I think twenty six or more videos, music videos. Take us through yeah. your journey. Well, my my journey started way back with um as um FA mm -hmm. Super Graphics, the guy that taught STS how to do what he's doing today. Mm -hmm. Um he was a great person and he was the first person. He's Nigerian, mm -hmm. but the first day I was on set with him, he was wow. He actually I can remember it was this small set. Wow. Yeah, he told everybody cut and he went to this one and he was like, You need to pay this girl. Wow. Like now you have to pay her. He he what was time like, you were doing it for free. For this was video I did it for free. Okay. I did it for free because what I wanted is to get exposure. Exactly. Yeah. I want people to know that there's something here. Even though we have dancers, you know, in music videos, but mm -hmm. my aim was to set standards for it. Okay. And that's what I did. So the guy believed in me and then he was first one of the first people that walked up to me and said, You can change the minds of the Gambian people. Okay. So they understand this can be a career. So um, when you were doing um, T Small's video, mm -hmm. you were a solo dancer time. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were doing it alone. I did. So how was the group formed? Well, that's after, after that, that, that was when I formed the group, actually. Okay. But when I was doing the video, I already started recruiting girls and training them. Because most of the girls that I met were more interested in dance. You know, back then I can remember my, um, the Nelly and Kelly dance yeah. style. Nelly and Kelly. <laughs> Exactly. So everybody was into that. So mm -hmm. what you have to do is, you know, start grooming them, training mm -hmm. them to, to set the standards that you want. And that's what I've been working on. But I needed that exposure, that platform mm -hmm. to get, to do what I have to do. Okay. Yeah. So all this while, all that while, young Rundef, um Natalie Kuroesa, you were in the entertainment scene, but the radio part, you were doing, um, you were a presenter. Um, tell us about this. Well. Uh, the funny thing is, when I was going to school, I, I loved journalism, mm -hmm. I loved media, so I studied arts, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was going to pursue this. Actually, I went to have some uh, grade 12, and I went to uni for internships there, mm -hmm. because I was waiting for my results. Mm -hmm. That's where I started, and then I was being trained on um, business news presentation. Back mm -hmm. then, if you remember, you have the Oliva that mm -hmm. we used to do it here with the Aisha Kettas. So yeah, um, I started media, and then entertainment came mm -hmm. in, because when you have music in you, when you have mm -hmm. dance, when you have entertainment in you, then they, they're very easy for my click. Mm -hmm. So the people that were doing shows, music shows, at some point, I had people that are like, you don't look at music, maybe you should come and, you know, mm -hmm. then I came into it. But I, I started as a news presenter. Mm -hmm. But later on, I found myself in the entertainment field, which okay. I really wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. So, Naba, you know, it, at some point, you were um, working at the radio station, okay. and your voice was a number one household, you know, in the Gambia, people used to listen to you a lot. Take us through your journey. Well, um, likewise, a uh, similar story to Electras, because yes. um, I loved media way back when I was going to school, and mm -hmm. I wanted to become a journalist, and sometimes I would say, I want to become a lawyer, mm -hmm. you know, but then I was like, I'm really good at talking, mm -hmm. so I love asking questions, this is what I want to do. Then, um, after the examinations, of course, uh, mm -hmm. before results was out, mm -hmm. I went straight to Paradise FM for mm -hmm. internship. Mm -hmm. So I was there for seven months and I was introduced uh, into the editing part, which was media magic, and I was taken through um, voice adverts and mm -hmm. I was having a little bit of show that I was doing there. At some point I was doing news reading as well mm -hmm. and I loved everything about it. People were like, you have a good voice and you think you can do it. Then after seven months, straight to Unique FM Radio for six good years. Okay. So I, I there, therefore, um, Unique FM there, I started as a, a receptionist in the first place okay. because um, my boss was trying to know what I can do best. Mm -hmm. So after some time, I can fully remember it was um, uh, the the woman. It was a woman's day actually. Okay. So when Aisha Keto was having a show in the studio and. She invited me in. Mm -hmm. So I was there after that discussion. They're like, ah, you we know didn't you know that you can do this. <laughs> so that was when I started having my show. And mm -hmm. I fall in love with gambling music. And it was basically everything to me. I was listening to it all over. Every time I research about the new songs that are out, mm -hmm. you know, one artist more hit and mm -hmm. all of that. Then 
one of our, our presenters there um, discovered that and decided to give me a show, okay. which was the drive time show. And I started it first with, of course, my girl Aisha Sadie Khan. Okay. So we are having that show, Jordan the Time Hours at Unique. And I also was doing another show called Good Morning Gambia. I did it for four years and everything was just so great about me. Okay. Um, at some point you left um, Unique FM mm -hmm. and you, what are you doing right now? Right now I'm trying to set up something of my own. Um, my sister actually started something and I I love repairing things. I, I'll call it that mm -hmm. way. You know, I love my things to an extent that I don't want to throw them away. Okay. So at some point when they start to get old, I would just want to do something with it to still, you know, to, yeah. Yeah, to keep it longer with me. So that's basically it. I am more into um, customizing for covers and, you know, shoes, bags, and, okay. you know, all of that. She's just one of the people that forced me really to do it because I'm this type of person that is so scared mm -hmm. and I'm, I always feel very bad. I don't want to fail. Okay. That's the more reason why I never want to start anything but she's been an inspiration. She okay. actually forced me to, to do this and I, and I love right. her. So what has been the biggest challenge Electra um, as a dancer in the Gambia? Well, as a dancer in the Gambia, the biggest challenge was setting um, a payment scale. I can say. Okay. <laughs> Money. Money. It's you know, setting the business Gambia. aspect. <laughs> because people didn't understand that it can be a business. Mm. So I tell that most of the times when we do app work with I tell them and you know what? The same way you're charging these people to go perform at the stadium or any other show, that's the mm. same way we're charging you. Because yeah. what you're doing is exactly what we are doing in a different way. Mm -hmm. Well at the end of the day you're never performing as a nigga. Like yeah. you said, we are all artists with the E. Yeah. So that means you're linking out there for you are doing this as a career, we're doing it as a career. Of so course. Before they talk, you know, at the end of the day, I make you know, yeah, I'm a sister, so I'm a standard. You have the need to then say thank you. Exactly. Because only can be better than you. Full of love, but can't do no full of. Yeah. Because they have me feeling more happy, free. You know, for me, especially artists. You know, you know, like artists, like can I come on and make some music video or do something like that? Do not let that go. So that thing is not right now. Well, this now. Yeah, because I've seen cases whereby we can just jam up with them. You know, we we go to say we have a thousand. You know, you know, you know, all um, death make up on five tax same you. She will be on set from super bang on local jump, local jump, local jump to Leka. So, but I'm fair tax same you. Penny they will get them. Wow. So the exploitation from the artist is really yeah. too high. It is. It is very high, and I think. Young high, you make us entertain in your city, especially the models, mm -hmm. the dancers should set standards. Let them know this is a career. Mm -hmm. And let them know that uh, sometimes, you know, what we call here, like the family and your home, they're there for, for the love of being there, they're passionate about it, they mm -hmm. want to make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. But there's some side of people who have a high value in the yeah. area. Or it's just all about fame. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to be on the spotlight. But at the end of the day, you need to realize that what you are doing is ruining somebody else's career. Of course. You know, start up looking at the game at high percent, you know, young product. Mm -hmm. And that's not happening in our industry. It's not. It's at really all. not. Let's talk about being a female here in the Gambia. Because um Gambia, how many in there? If you so Jang Jang a watcher, it's a bit of the um you can get yourself a I'm not a respectable job, for yeah. instance, like work at the bank mm -hmm. or be a lawyer or have a deal carry or how many people respect it. Mm -hmm. But once you start deviating from that come coming to the entertainment scene here in Gambia, how many entertainment scene but since soon mommy did I yeah. come the likes of Nyom um Usula mm -hmm. the likes of Nyom um Usano mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they've did a lot but I don't mm -hmm. take Gambia is something they celebrate. Yeah. Senegal is something they celebrate. It's very sad. And young people are doing it and they're not happy. They're going to do career work. They're not even going to be considered. 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 My majority, I, uh, my mother is very good. You know, I mean, we left back in the days and they're still into it. But yeah. majority, we are nowhere to be found. Exactly. Most of them are married now. Others will tell you I'm doing something else. Mm -hmm. What is the reason? What is keeping women in the Gambia, in the entertainment scene, not um, getting what they're supposed to get? Well, I think it's it's really sad. Like I said, um, the structure is not there. Well, that's I think that's our biggest problem. The structure is not there. We never said get a new program because we. The government have structured it well for us, mm -hmm. you know, and I think totally for how many energy you want to do, 
I mean, you go to the entertainment industry and people are telling you, your GA where you should know where you should stop being all that and all that. And no. Mm -hmm. If a man can do it, we can do it, of course. So why not we move your dog? You see the pe people like Vivian and all those people in mm -hmm. Senegal that has been, yeah. has been in the entertainment mm -hmm. for ages. Mm -hmm. And still new year maintenance and family new year maintenance and career, everything new call for us. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. Of course. But I think the, the mindset of the Gambian people is what's disturbing us. Our society. Mm -hmm. To you know, see, you know, people, the moment they say it, like, culture, the moment they say it, like, hi. If it's because you say, okay, problems are family and race. Those are problems, yeah. That is not so. I tell you, I will attend it. They can't be the more of a family and they can't be more of a family. At the end of the day, they don't know that it's a career. So I think we need to sensitize our people more to understand that this is a career. Mm. Boy, it's very respectable. Now they watch movies. Everybody's yeah. watching really, really. Everybody, everybody's watching that. Why are they not calling Sumbu and all those people names? Mm. Because they understand that it's a career. Well, it's yeah, just yeah, acting. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. character. Mm. But do it in the Gambia, yo. The next minute for wrong when you get us here. I know. You know, or if if they don't say negative aspect about you being the actress, then they go in the moon law. I'm going to Come here, we go down into the room. Every time I do go, I mean, you come in. Um, so we say, I'm going to be entertaining, see if you know, especially when it comes to the acting part. And I just go ask that. Gambian, the one you can figure out, see a movie, we do say, then and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, wow, critics was, understand? King of Mekola, and then, 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 and and so this is what I mean. I hold a key, make a bond with it. Hold a key, let's not free. That simply means that you can make a home with you and work. That's right. Because who make a home with you and work? But if there is a particular job that you know, Sally can do, go buy Sally all of it. What do you expect well, to have? It's part of. No, no, let me move from more than I said. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. More than I said. Let me go. Buy. So let me put it like this. And you know, I smell like a move in your home like that. But when you come there, you move that. But talk about the music politics. We say we want to make a rumor that because it's like right now, rumor understand. What a sector you put, you put feel very good. Because basically, you 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 can hear more. Tell me more. Tell me more. People that have the um, not only the sector, the qualification. People that have the qualification. People that really know what what it takes for hang a money you go. Um, a movement. Tell me more. Why don't we talk about the problem? Then you then you want to um. New DNA, new values, new values. What do you think about that? I agree. I agree personally because, um, for example, my mother here, my children are being a head of model agency. I don't struggle to learn how to be a person, but he was so mad and hilarious because of just to be on the screen. Partnering ten five, or oh, they have to be part of the reunion today. Exactly, yeah. you know they're more about the fame and all that. So you then get what is more. So then point Muhammad Gani, when people exploit us, sometimes so what can go on with them? Because we need to get me. We have to be more than we So I think people need to change that. Yeah. And and another thing, I mean, I think many students should understand something. I'm in high school. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you go to Senegal, you have schools, they've been taught music, they've been taught. We don't have that, we have no talent. That's true. Everybody literally, we are in the class of all. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what happens is if somebody is trying, they could it. You know, if you have links, connections, networking links, give it to them. Yeah, 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 Excel, simple as you can get a thing. But if somebody is trying, you go discourage, you go criticize. It's not everybody that has that, that is mentally strong to that level to move over from one way. My me man, some certain time, I can tell you on several occasions, tell the last one, I I broke down because the day the day made you there at a certain point, you don't have nobody to talk to, you know, and then it's just you trying to do everything and learning and vision. Maybe I can sit here and explain, Sally, this is what I want for my country, this is what I want to do as a professional dancer. But in as much as I'm explaining, you can never ever tell the vision I have in my head. So I know what I want. I know what I'm seeing. I know what I want to achieve in the future. But if the support is not there, you know, you need mental data. Wow. The more we need to work on that. Gambia needs to start support supporting our people. One thing people think the most support is always finance. Finance is not always what people need. Sometimes you need more support emotionally. You know all these things. Yeah. Um, is dancing giving you what you? Um, deserve 
for instance, when it comes to the payment aspect. Because I think lately I've seen that you've worked with um, a bank, I don't know which of them. Yeah. And also I've seen you guys in um, partnership with YEP, mm -hmm. Youth um, Empowerment Project. Mm -hmm. And recently I've seen also um, you've hosted an event at the Epigen Theater. Yeah. And we saw um, some dignitaries, mm -hmm. one like um, Ahmed Ba, mm -hmm. Ahmed Inkeba, Honorable Ahmed Inkeba. Yeah. And I've also seen Hassan Sise as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's part of the um, arts and culture. Mm -hmm. and they're doing really great job when it comes to the art aspect. Yeah. Um, how do you uh, cooperate with these people? Cooperate with, uh, and cooperate also, with these um, people. How, and also, how are they helping your music career? Sorry, your dance career. Why am I just saying music? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, with, with regards to um, that event, that's a totally different project. Mm -hmm. um, with the, the advertisement, the bank you're talking about that we, we worked with, that's on, on the Afri mm -hmm. you know, being a female dance group. That's one of the strategies I use to sensitize the people, setting up an all girl group. Mm -hmm. People to know that, okay, you can be a lady and yet still earn money in a very decent way. Mm -hmm. That's through dance. Mm -hmm. So we've worked with the band, and to tell you the truth, since we've worked with that band, the, those TV commercials went out, you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of. You're on board, yeah. yeah and, and, and some people, their yeah, approach have certainly changed. Okay. Because it's like they're now understanding what we are trying to do. So I'm like, okay, we're getting there slowly, but we'll definitely get there. Sure, yeah. So, with regards to um, the event that you're talking about, the Youth Empowerment Project, we have this project that we're working on. As you can see, our shirts, mm -hmm. Stand 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 Championship. Okay. It's a project that um, Flex Fusion initiated to help youths that are venturing into dance because we feel um, dancers don't have a platform here. Um, so the only way we can you know, help them is to give them exposure and also create a platform where they can come and um, you know, show the public what they can do. And it's not just a platform where they can just come and dance and go. What we wanted to do is, um, like I told you, when I had a chance to travel a lot on a training program and I saw in Sweden dancers making it big earning more than me and you sitting here right now wow. from our yeah, offices, that I can tell, yeah. you know. So I was like looking back at my community and I was a young girl growing up in Ibo town, you know, going to Fula, I was mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of potential in the youths here and they are very passionate about this, mm -hmm. but they don't have assistance, they don't have a platform. So I was like, this is what I'm going to bring back to Gambia. Okay. I'm going to implement this business model here. Okay. I want people to know it. And I saw at some point you guys also tra um, traveled to Guinea, was it Bissau or Canada? Yes, we have a, an annual um, contract with Guinea, so okay. the hotels there. So every New Year's Eve we take um, dancers to, okay. to Guinea Bissau. Okay. So to, just to show you a little bit of what we are doing, but mm -hmm. um, with this project, um, it's beyond me, it's beyond Africans. This okay. project is for Gambia. Okay. You know, it's not just the name, but it is for Gambia. So okay. what we did was we, we had auditions. Um, like I mentioned, we are part of the Youth Empowerment Project. Mm -hmm. So we, this project is also going to mentor the dancers because we feel most of them, um, you know, encounter financial constraints and can afford their educations. Mm -hmm. um, some of them want to make a living out of their passion mm -hmm. um, to build it up into a career, but they don't have the help, they don't have, they don't have the know-how, they don't know the technicalities. Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to do is give them entrepreneurial skills you know, after the project, they should be able to manage themselves and be self sufficient and know that yes, this is a business. Mm -hmm. and this is how we should manage ourselves, me la 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 you know? Okay. So we're going to have workshops with them and teach them, like any other entrepreneurial workshop, entrepreneurship okay. workshop. And then we're also going to have mentors, mm -hmm. people that have been dancing over 20 years, mm -hmm. you know, in the Gambia and abroad. They're going to mentor them and also train them on the skills and technicalities. Okay. So that's basically the project. And when we did the auditions, we had a turnout of 185. Okay. So when we shot this stuff, yeah, very massive. I mean, some people came late. Like, you know, Gambia was time, so mm -hmm. uh, fake auditions in Jena. Okay. But we are hoping that the next season that's coming is going to be bigger than that. So exactly. when we shot this step, we had a, a 135 participants currently performing, you know, competing on this platform. Okay. Yeah. So how will you convince a mother? Um, for instance, we know coming over here with Ali, like we know when it comes to entertainment scene here in the dance, especially dancing, it's not being taken seriously. Yeah. How will you convince a parent to let their child, you know, get into dancing? 
Well, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention, this project is also working on um, eradicating irregular migration. Mm -hmm. Because from dance, we can create a lot of job opportunities, which Gambians, I think it's an oversight. They don't know, and we're trying to sensitize them. Can you um, let the viewers know how we right. create job opportunities when okay. it comes to dancing? We train them. Mm -hmm. Basically, when we say dance, people just the first thing that comes into your mind is queen as a stage mm -hmm. you know that's not the, the whole thing we train you on arabics we train mm -hmm. you on zumba workouts we train you on hot, you know the hotels you have games yeah. entertainment games that you do so currently we have people that are working in different hotels mm -hmm. as entertainers and what they do is when they come in the morning they conduct arabic workout classes for the guests mm -hmm. it can be a water polo it can be other games like water basket you know mm -hmm. all those interesting games and at night they do their live shows okay so they're being paid as hotel staffs and at night they're being paid as dancers okay so which means you're making double earnings exactly that's great at the end of the month so and each show they are being paid per show one hour for the live shows mm -hmm. then you have your monthly salary okay. it's totally different and then aside from that we have people that we are also putting because we're trying to introduce dance as an ex extracurricular activity okay. in schools so all those are employment opportunities because we are training dancers to become instructors that will go back to the schools mm -hmm. and teach these kids now what people don't understand is when it comes to children, that helps helps them in, in learning. Yeah. I mean we all went to nursery school. Mm -hmm. Our rhymes were you know. Okay. It's not just all right, let's take a quick commercial, we'll be right back and you take us uh, further to what you're explaining. It's really interesting. This is the playlist, stay with us. Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Welcome back after that short commercial. It's um, Flex Fusion in the studio and Electra was um, explaining to us something really interesting, which is giving um, young people out there a job opportunity when it comes to dancing. Because it's dancing is something Rohan and Electra, it's fun. Yeah. Imagine being paid for over something that you just have fun. fun. Yeah, tell so, me. Take tell us through what you were saying. Yeah, so like I was meant to say, um, we have people working at hotels, those are employment opportunities. And I myself, one of the things I didn't mention is I am gym instructor. Mm -hmm. I do aerobics classes and okay. also Zumba workout. So when you go to the Zumba workout, it's more dance. Do you do Zumba? Yes, we do Zumba. Okay. It's more dance. <laughs> like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and people have fun. They don't even know, like, new Disney, okay, they're actually working out. Like, when we're doing aerobics and steps and all that, they're like, the most one, the most one. But when it's dance, they, they're free to just be themselves. Yeah. And they're burning calories at mm -hmm. the same time. So, dance also promotes health at the end of the day. But mm -hmm. people don't know. So, all these are employment. And it relaxes you mind because you tend to throw away all the stress day, yeah. all the stress goes out you're mm -hmm. just in a total different world mm -hmm. so you enjoy what you do and you're also okay. achieving your goal of losing weight or any other thing that you want to do that's great yeah mm -hmm. one thing i forgot to mention is Nini then they always host like key dancer you know bully you met wow mm -hmm. yeah i know Nini, Nini, i'm um like somebody i don't know i don't mean to disrespect but um kohala i'm here i'm the same yeah the same team yeah and so the messy event in the school performs goes to be at the end. Exactly. I can't believe this. So Nini feel in the gower joy side, so they mm -hmm. judge you based on say. And I'm 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 in a conversation with a few um upcoming teenagers who have made their passion about can I get a little more money more, but they're mentally stressed because they would always um against the side of the four booth you cannot dance, so you can hear my banging and I was like, that's not a thing. Because so you want to get a new one, the guy is saying they are slap me. Well, it doesn't stop them from doing what they want to do. Yeah. And confidence. you may move confidence, bang, bang. So, you know, that, 
dans ce temps, nous avons une self-esteem, mm -hmm. it teaches you etiquette, it teaches you a lot of things that people don't know. So, maybe you can see it better, but you can see it better. But at the end of the day, so I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance, I'm going to dance. So, I'm going to have a youth empowerment project. You know, they're more into youth, you know, they have a, um, you know, it's a skill. Yeah. I don't know what it, what it comes to, the Fardala or mm -hmm. Nyo or Lini. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to link it with um, dancing, but I decided to enforce this yep, to yep, help you. Yep. So why he has and to my All of those people are foreign. Mm -hmm. All right. They're from overseas. Then you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. So to them, dance is a skill. Mm -hmm. It's part of the creative industry. So they have to empower it. So it's not all about new definition or new definition. Fetch a cat, we see more power, more talent, more of the fetch, more more skill. Because more money for entrepreneurial tools. So for them, we make it hard space. So they see now we have to empower these youths. Man, I know a lot of youth who have talent. They are not the young, the young, the young, the young, the young. Most of them are like bad boys. And these are potent. They have they have potentials. You see, fetch a young one can say. But why do they have to venture in this migration? Of course. Because there's no platform for them. Can you hold them hope? You come to that live show, and mm -hmm. somebody told me, when I was in that room and I saw hope in their eyes, especially when the judges were making their comments. Wow. Let the go audition be, I'm not going to know, but I'm going to solo acts right now. He was, I'm going to do something new. I'm going to do something new. I'm going to do something new. He would have auditioned, guy comment. He doesn't get his stuff on hook. The joy. Wow. To show you that they're very much passionate about this. They want to make this a career. So Gambia has to come out and support them. Mm -hmm. So come on, Fetch, and that's my mass. It's in Google, but in your life. No, no, you have Flex Vision Dance Academy. We okay. teach everybody. So let me have a good Fetch, and you will start with you from the basics. Be na ega for boga ega. Even couples, you have to know about the words. And you choreograph a lot. Yeah, once I was dancing. That's what you can be. We will plan it to do some choreographic. It's what you can roll with Fetch. Every time he will be like, How many of them are falling in one of them? I can't even do Fetch. But if you don't know, But if you don't know, 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 I know. So that means we have a platform for him. We can learn how to do these choreography moves, You know, so that if you don't know, Spice of soon wedding day. <laughs> yeah, so um, I have this. Let's let's not talk about um, the show or something. Anyway, we have a special edition which is called the playlist, okay. and we normally ask um, our guests who your favorite artist is and which of their songs you listen to the most. Mm -hmm. So I guess you will give me two and number one, number two, or maybe even number three, number two, number three. <laughs> okay, then let's let's do two two. Yeah. <laughs> Well, man, um, okay, I know some of you don't want to live in because I only get your mom also. Mm -hmm. But ST, mm -hmm. wow, you like ST? I love him. Wow. I love ST. One because I'm not more than two because Tafajar is a rough part, mm -hmm. so he understands. I'm also doing a lot of man, and I'm going to get in your face. I'm going to get in your face. Yeah. That's what I see in ST. Because one thing I love about him, boy, no matter from who they are, that would move, move, move by me. Nini de mami. Then he held on to them, and then soon you will have a good officer. He's he's that humble person. Wow. So I I love his personality and I love his music because he doesn't just entertain; he educates people as, as yeah. at the same time. All his songs that I listen to, there is always a message. And art is educating. Exactly. When you talk about art, it's about educating. People. It's entertainment. Yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. so he does that. So currently, so which of his songs? Right are... now, I love his take it song. Okay. The tech episode is basically what I've been listening to throughout. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it has something to do with youth empowerment and all that, but I love it because the message is strong and yeah. it's clear and yeah. we need to sense it. Yeah, I listen people. to the music, it's great. It's great. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Oh, she, Esti is just great. So you're with Esti, right? Sorry, Mama. 
Like I love ST, I listen to almost all his songs. If I so like all of them. Wow, I I just love everything about him. Like come him come him, very humble. Yeah. Do they fight the demon? I can fully remember when you were so much for the first time. Remember, I love the fact that you always say, I love a drive, a drive with, of course. And he's just one of the people that really motivates me. Okay. Like Nid Kuban. Mm -hmm. I love your song, ST. Keep it up. I'm keep it up, <laughs> ST, because I'm not even having right now. They're giving you mad love, especially myself here. I love ST as well. Uh, so, who else do you love? No, you listen? know, you know the dance? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um apart from Tanky Fee. Apart from Tanky Fee, right? um, I'm gonna go with Padhama. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um Padhama it's also he has a great personality as well. Well to tell you something, it's not all about their music that I love. I love them as as a person, as, as a person, individual. as an individual. So to me, your character, your personality should reflect what you do. Mm -hmm. All right. And me, okay, I'm not even having a fake from the start. You'll be like they're cool. I'm the music be like a favor. Yeah, so as time goes, their character is totally know, different. Yeah, or if you spend time in order, you get to know them. Yeah. So Barhama is one person. I can say Barhama and the whole Kenya family. Okay. Yeah. And one song I still love about them. I love the song that I am part of the video. Do I guess? Yes. Ajana? No, you missed Which it. <laughs> it's the whole me. Hold me video. You know, I walked into the J Live studios, I can remember fully. Okay. And Hammer was recording that part. To him, Abby, your mother, I'm John. And I, I was like, and Jay was making me repeat it to get, I don't know what they're trying to get. But I was like, I just stood there, I was like, I was with SDS and all, I was like, I love this song. Not knowing that I would be the one in the video. In the video, wow. So when, when this told me, me, told me. Can you hear me the song? I think I know the song, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know the song, I know. Yeah. Okay. Fine girl, just your waist. Fine girl, just your waist. 
Fine girl, this your waist. It's a moon, yeah, man. Fine girl, this your waist. Fine girl, this your waist. Fine girl, this your waist. It's a moon, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Jalika. 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 It's a moon, yeah, man. Jalika big baka, Jalika sexy, Jalika nyinyata, Jalika body banging, uh, Jalika body iPhone X, Jalika body PS4, and anytime she come around, she cause the commotion. If we were to Project Gambian Entertainment yeah. where would you see it going? Ha <laughs> dega dega. So in Ghana, you try. But I think we still have a long way to go, Sally. Mm -hmm. Even though a few of them have gone international, but the foundation that you should will have built for Senegal, mm -hmm. they haven't got I, mean, I, mean, I don't see anybody building that yet. Mm -hmm. So, from now, Ben and Obi push together the more money. Mm -hmm. When they come together, then they're stronger. But you go to Senegal, even though you're living it individually, but at some point they collaborate, they do stuff together. Mm -hmm. They usually will have the foundation for them. I wish Ben Akesfini can just, you know, part in his, you know, being all about you and also think about how you can it's empower so you. It should be. Wow. Everybody. Too much. Wow. Wow. So, but um, I so the foundation wasn't strong from soon. Nigeria is an uncle, is an papa. It's time when they were doing music. Mm -hmm. Come, majority would tell them they come settling a standard for them, and the, the pace wasn't smooth mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they came and they're struggling for themselves. So, I'm gonna support them for them, they can help for them, they can learn more. But, so, because they're all Gambia, then focus on music. Better when you listen to your feeling, and you come and say, Feeling so maybe, so my idol now, I'm gonna listen to feeling than you. I'm feeling good, feeling good, good, good. Boy, do they come or do they? Do they then make a wah? When I talk about Lionel, I've been Kabir, the puppy says, and he was narrating the story as to how we should not take your talks in good thing. They have put good has a dream come. Wow, all of them, Gelawa, if I'm good, all these people, you must hang up. Those people come here. Why do you think they just are going to flew in a camp? Yeah, because don't want one come. I'm not a guy, John. So all these people that they you need to be that you know feeling good today. What are coming? You need to go. Do you think the soon artists are doing research to know all these things? No, I don't think so. Because when I was reading the last time when I'm interviewed, most of them are making research. So you actually then feel that okay, they have the internet, so they're fine. It's not all about the internet at the end of the day. Come in, go there. We have some music. We have our identity. Yeah. You want to penetrate the international market, mm -hmm. you need to have an identity. But Gambia is all about just copying or following the hype. Fine. Hell out of you. You should do music and Mugina Yaga. You go play it. Mugina Safu. So it's all about. Thank you. So when you make the research, you see Silky Chris, you see Bar Hamadan. They go to all these old people, the Unicorns industry. They didn't have a They didn't have a senior. They didn't coach. So I think Gary, what a wine is selling. I don't know if it's ego, I should call it or pride or what. Well, yes, I have a Some people cannot um, really control hype. Some people, the moment they get the hype, like, yeah, hell, yeah, hell, they tend to lose grip on what yeah. they're doing. Hang yeah. on, lose focus and yeah. let us focus on what we're doing. Let and, them... I, and I think, Sally, one other thing, two gambling companies, we need to address them. Yeah. Because you don't let you talk, you don't let you consume, you don't let you consume, you don't you take a fee, and you don't want to invest in the use. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've approached a lot of people who have been doing this and doing it. That's why you're not passing up with me. Yeah, I mean, you go back and forth. You're not even the next time you see them sponsor an international app. You have them, you know, you say they can support me. Samba Alaa. Exactly. Yeah, no, nobody feels Gambia. People would rather do stuff for other people than their own country. Exactly. So that's the whole reason why people are giving up on their careers. People don't want to pursue it anymore because of it. You be there first, and then I'm again a international artist. You know, so you never in countries, right? You them are new in the world. So you believe in this project? Yep, we thank you very much for really believing in us. And yes, all our sponsors, you see, Gambe, you get support and companies in your new buy. Yeah, and then we will also make a campaign. Wow. Of not doing anything with you as well. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. <laughs> At some point, we should. Yeah, 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 we should.
the funny part is that you have been eight of food, then you need to start the rush. I to fair by my somebody and I started saying, My God has not moved in the boss of me. I'm like, you see seen flat on there better how and then you come, we're gonna turn it down. And not after the company now. Because New Year in an international actually much more than when you go to the peanuts. I'm like you seen platform is then, more for yeah, them. And then the thing is when if they give you peanuts then they bring all the brand exactly <laughs> show you get all the exposure they need leaving you with nothing yeah. we need to stop that let's support each other it's the playlist stay watching so before we leave i'm not a great dancer but i'm sitting here with um the best um dancer in the gambia i would say so she's gonna teach us she's going to teach one of us some um, moves so Hamna, at least you need new show you guys what we can do so let's take it away one song in your demo uh, name them like uh, City Stars. Okay. That's your name. Alright, let's take it away then. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 